Hello and welcome to Tommy Surfs. Today we're going to be looking at the Firewire Mo, a Harley Ingleby board. Uh, it is a mid-length and you're probably wondering why I'm looking at this particular board. Uh, it's kind of not in you know my normal genre of boards that I look at, uh, but one of the things that really piqued my interest was how high performance Harley Ingleby surfs this board. But when I look at the shape and outline of this board, it totally looks like, you know, a friendly mid-length, you know, some, something for a beginner and intermediate. So I kind of wanted to test out because I've had made this recommendation to people, but, you know, I had nothing to back it up. I had no experience with it. So therefore, I wanted to try this board so that way in the future when recommending this board, I could stand behind that recommendation fully. Okay, so before we begin, let's go over some of the details. Uh, I am 5'8", and I weigh 145 pounds. I actually chose to surf the smallest version, which is a 72 by 22 by 2 and 13 sixteenths, and it comes in at 49.4 liters. Uh, now, the board comes in three different sizes. There's a 74 that comes in at, I believe, 52.9 liters. And then they have an 8.0 version that comes in at 61.2 liters. Now, uh, some small differences. A 7.2 and 7.4 uh, come in the 5-fin setup. So you can write it as a quad, thruster, all that stuff. The 8.0 version actually comes in a 4-fin setup plus 1. The 1 is the U.S. box, U.S. longboard box. And I believe U.S. just stands for uh, Universal System. Anyways, uh, that's the difference you should know before you decide. So the board comes in the Thunderbolt Red technology, uh, and it is a very complicated uh, technology. So I'm just going to post a picture of it, and if you want to know the details of it, just pause and, and look it over. So now getting into the way this board serves. If you look at the waves, they're very soft. Uh, and the board does well to get into the waves early as well as maintain speed down the line even though there isn't a lot of energy and a lot of that has to do with the fact that the board is very flat i don't know what the rock the exact rocker is but to me it looks like a medium entry rocker with kind of a low exit rocker and a very very large flat section so now this wave look how effortless i glide into it it's not even breaking and here through the flats you know i'm, I'm able to get a decent amount of speed but look what happens when the wave starts to stand up look how fast I start going so the concaves of this board uh, it's listed as a double under your feet uh, but when I looked at it there is a very slight single through the middle of the board which turns into a double uh, underneath your feet and apologies about the focus my solo shot setting got reset but I'm gonna show you me paddling for the wave so that way you can see but look at look at these slow pumps i'm doing that kind of how much speed i'm projecting just by doing a very slow pump so someone that's a intermediate you know that wants to develop their skills for pumping waves a board like this one will get you in early get you onto the open face as well as slow the surfing down so you're not super erratic and you can really practice those uh, techniques. Also, someone that's a beginner that might be coming off a wave storm, you're not letting go so much volume that you know it's like starting over. You're transitioning into something that just surfs better. So uh, although you do lose a little bit of volume, you're going to still catch waves because the you know the board is fast, paddles easy. You just have to size it right uh, out of the three that I mentioned earlier but definitely it will help your progression with learning to surf so now this one here is pretty funny because look how many people are paddling for this wave there's five of us first guy misses it second guy misses it uh, I'm the only one that catches it and uh, it wasn't the best wave but just goes to prove that uh, you know comparing it to a short board this thing definitely uh, helps and here the paddle speed of the board helped me get out in order to get into the wave early enough to actually have, you know, a decent ride. And I managed to get a maneuver off, which is nice. So now this is where it actually starts to get interesting for me. 
Um, as a low-level advanced person, this board actually has a lot of potential because I managed to get this maneuver there and, and I actually disconnected from the wave for a, like a split second. So it almost felt like an error, but it wasn't. And on this wave, I managed to do it backside. Now here, as I was editing everything in slow motion, I, I realized that when I surf this board, it feels like I'm in slow motion. So I have more time to think about the technique and the maneuver. So bottom line, I think this board is basically made for everyone. Beginners can get into waves uh, and just learn and practice pop-ups. Probably transition right into just getting onto the open faces. Intermediates can then focus, you know, slowing their surfing down, making sure that they're aware of their arms and working on technique. That's huge. And then for the advanced surfer, you know, just to grovel or change it up. And, you know, Harley Ingleby proves that, man, the upper limits of this board is pretty good. Now, I'm going to say that my only pet peeve about the board is the fact that the smallest size is 7'2". Now, at 5'8 and 145 uh, pounds, I think something like a 6'6 or a 6'8, you know, about 10 liters less instead of 50 liters, maybe something closer to 40 liters would have been ideal for me. Because from my understanding, Harley Ingleby is a pretty big guy. I think he's like 6'2", 6 6'3". 6 uh, that means he probably weighs about 190 pounds. So, you know, he throws this thing around like a shortboard and I would love to be able to throw this around like a shortboard. And if it were a little bit smaller, I think I would be able to. So the last thing I'm gonna just mention is that I rode this as a quad and quad only. Um, it was recommended that way by a lot of other videos. Um, the specific fins I used were the Naked Viking Rusty uh, set, I believe mediums, and they work amazingly. Um, I don't know if you want a, a large fin or bigger fins like the Harley, because the board is bigger, so therefore that much rail in the water actually acts as another set of fins. So anyways, uh, I hope you guys liked the video. Please like, subscribe, and let me know what you think.